All right, so we in, so before I get started, I gotta explain because some things happened prior to getting here. So if you look, pay attention to like the last, I don't know how many videos ago, but uh, before you know everybody got stuffed into that dimensional hole when the vile god came back. I had made two save files. One was at the area I was, and one was after we went through the hole. So I actually went back to the previous save file I had and trained my party um, to where everybody has like their two combo meters. And, um, you know, everybody has like new attacks and things like that. And basically got them to a point where they can actually survive a battle. <laughs> you know. Um, what survival battle a little bit better than what they were. So I just um, was making sure that they was uh, well prepared and I trained everybody and grinded to make sure everybody got the experience that they needed and the levels up. So, yeah, so you're going to see some different things from the previous video. But yeah, I clicked on the, on the Yatagan Lava Flows where we're at right now. So, I'm going to continue from here with Sherman all by himself. If I'm being honest, part of me wonders if Fang would really think things through that far. Analysis of his speech patterns, behavior, and general personality indicates a non-zero probability that this is true. Oh, please don't say that. Even if part of me does agree with you. But, but still, we don't have any other leads, right? Besides, I'm curious about the fury. Why don't we give it a shot? Okay. Very well. Let your guard down. Here I come. Yeah, it's like different attacks now. So the first all we had was the sky slash and skyfall. I'm spraying them up and got like you know, he has some magic attacks now, one defensive one healing magic attack, one magic ability. Um there's like a bunch of uh other Save myself time. I'm gonna just just hope that it kills them all in one go. Hope didn't do enough. I don't know if you should adjust it. Here I come. Just... I should have did that from the jump. Here I come. How was that? At that. Such brilliant light. Game was here. Here I come. My passion. I'm fine. Here I come. Rest in peace. It's my turn. Huh? Yeah. May the goddess witness my passion. Rest in peace. Oh, exactly where to go to.
The tiara I know acted like a proper little princess. But maybe this is her true nature. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Lord Sherman? Are you getting tired? No. I was just gazing at the landscape and feeling a bit sentimental. You don't have to be concerned. Taking time to admire the view, even now. That's so like you, Lord Sherman! Hey, why don't I go and scout ahead? I wonder if the reason for her sudden change is... You are the last person I would have expected to come calling. Are you here to pick a fight? Do you think I would simply appear before you if I did? Huh. You should be smart enough to know better than that, at least. Then state your business. I wouldn't want someone to spot the two of us meeting in secret and get the wrong idea. Someone within our group of friends carries the blood of the vile god. <sighs> That's all I wanted to tell you. So you should probably be on your guard. He speaks nonsense. Although, the same crest Bernard displayed also appeared on Tiara's forehead. Which means Tiara and the Vile God really are. Is something wrong, Sherman? Your heart rate and body temperature have measurably increased. Mark my words, Ryushin. If she has inherited the Vile God's blood in this world as well, then I swear, I will kill her. Understood. But for now, we can only pray that our fates have changed. Treasure. Oh. I believe we've reached the end of the line. Yeah, it should be around here somewhere. Could be. What the? That Ethel? Oh, yes, in fact. Gave me a run for my money, but now it's all over. But I wonder if this is a different Apple that's going to join our team. Some adoring fans are here to observe my awesomeness? Well, you're out of luck. We've already reached the end of the game. I don't even need to use my special move. Hey, Goldo! What are you talking about? You're not helping Dorfa, are you? Huh? Stay back. It would appear he suffered the same fate as Tiara. Which means... Hmm. The way you're dressed, I'm guessing you're a fencer, huh? Today's my lucky day. I was getting bored chasing after this traitor. But now I get the pleasure of taking care of a stray fencer, too. Goldo, hold on! You're not serious, are you? What's going on in this world? All we can do for now is push through whatever little problems get in our way. Let's go, Ryushin. Fair rise! Negative. After analyzing the target's maximum potential combat capability, I see no need to fuse. <laughs> Boy, you talk a big game. Well, I'm going all out, right from the beginning. Marissa, fair eyes! Okay, do your best, Goldikin. You just sit there and watch, Ethel. Once I destroy this arrogant prick, I'm coming for you next! So you like to talk just as much as ever. I gotta earn me some street cred. Then I can rise up through the ranks and get rich and famous. Here I come! I shall give my all. You disgust me. 
Stand in my way, and you will die. An opening. You trying to resist or something? Stand in my way, and you will die. Stand in my way, and you will die. How's this? You trying to resist or something? Stand in my way, and you will die. You trying to resist or something? Stand in my way, and you will die. And the gun. That's a full health bar, bro. You haven't won yet. Dead. Executing. Here I come. It's over. How was that? Lost. Fair eyes out! Goddikins, this isn't good! I hate to say this, but your enemy has you outmatched! But I haven't finished off Ethel yet! I can't back down now! As long as you live, you'll always have setbacks! Withdraw for now, and you can mitigate your failure with this new information! Gosh, you're smart! You always find new ways to surprise me. So then, I guess I'll let you all off the hook for today. No, he's out. Aldo, why? I just want a microphone to join into the red. Something I don't understand. She's been injured badly. We need to tend to her wounds right away. I appreciate the gesture. But we couldn't possibly ask you to do more than you already have. Yeah, shut up. You're a new teammate. She's the game already spoiled it. I don't know the what fucking they towel. Mean, but I do know we can't trust them. Towels right. spoil the game. Towels. Us. I'm afraid I don't recall that. I remember all the missions we completed for Dorfa, but we've never seen you before. Wait, you guys worked for Dorfa? This is totally different from the past I remember. We should put all that aside for now. I'll carry you back to the inn. Here, get on my back. Lord Sherman, wait! Are you sure about this? Those who were once our allies are now our enemies. It may be wiser to trust those who are once our enemies, don't you think? <laughs> Further, I believe it would be in our best interest to learn more about Dorfa's movements throughout this world. Galdo is working for Dorfa. And it seems Dorfa has been pursuing Tiara as well. This is a thread connecting them all together. If Ethel's been working for Dorfa, it might be good to hear her story. Yeah, so shut up, Aaron. Shut it up, Aaron. Stupid Aaron. We've done everything we can do to treat her. I think all she needs now is plenty of rest. How can I possibly repay you? If you hadn't shown up, Ethel would be... It's fine. This suits our interests as well. More importantly, what can you tell us about Dorfa? You were working for them, yes? Yes, but the Dorfa we knew just suddenly changed one day. It was never exactly wholesome, but now it's not even really a company. It's just a bunch of villains trying to rule over others. Defying Dorfa meant death, plain and simple. Ethel and I couldn't take it anymore, so we tried to escape, but... Dorfa I remember was doing some awful stuff too. It was never out in the open like that. Hmm. I believe I've come to understand some small part of this world's secrets. What do you mean? I think you can look at this world as one whose fate has been distorted. After our encounter, the vile god's power may have remade our world. This would explain why everyone's personalities have become twisted, and why the past is different from the one we remember. But, but if that's true, 
true, then how come you and me are still the same? Just before the Vile God was resurrected, you invoked the power of the Goddess. And I suppose I was in the blast radius, as it were. That could explain why I managed to avoid being influenced by the Vile God's power. Which would mean everyone else... They're no longer the ones we once knew. That would be a reasonable assumption, anyway. But now it's clear what we must do. Dorfa is to blame without a doubt. If we want to restore our world, we must destroy them. You want to take on Dorfa? You can't be serious. Do you realize just how powerful they are? Whether we want to or not, there is no other path forward. I want to help too. Well, I was thinking the same thing, Ethel. I can't believe there are still people in this world who would stand against Dorfa. Would it be all right if we asked you to add our strength to yours? You're quite welcome to join us. More allies is never a bad thing. But if we're gonna go up against the Vile God, we really are gonna need Fang. I agree. Let's renew our search for him tomorrow. I only pray he hasn't become our enemy as well. Fang, where are you? Alright, so we finally got help on like the game skip. You know, so what's her special ability? Assassinate. Probably make her arrows more lethal. Press triangle and skill might be heat to select the enemy in a few turns regardless of the pitch game. It might because it doesn't work all the time, which means there's a chance it might fail. Look like all you can do is shut your luck. In certain situations it might it might defeat the enemy that's out in your own. In way out of your league, so it could be useful in a pinch. Oh, but be aware that it won't work on bosses. By the way, Echo won't be able to perform any actions until Assassinate finish. You need to be extra careful about keeping her away from enemies. Okay. I figured she would be like... So, you couldn't dispose of one measly traitor. How useless. <laughs> 